first thing they do after they get a little bit loose is do everything with the weak hand. And today we're trying to shoot 10 shots before we get going. Everything done with the weak hand. It's good to spend up to three minutes doing this. Really good for developing the imagination when you're using your, your, your opposite hand. So we're going to throw the ball off the backboard from one side to the other. Go get it. Get it. Turn. Dribble a ball kind of out in a circle and come back to where you started and do it again. Offensive rebound, chin the rebound, go back up and score. And a good rule to have around the basket is use the backboard or dunk it, which you know kind of develops how important it is to use the backboard. Rebound, chin the rebound, baby fake to the to the chin, pause, go up and score. He's coming back down now. I see an opening to step by and score. I can either go straight ahead or I can reverse it on the rebound. And we want to go five shots. I'm going to spin the ball out. I'm going to hop to a jump stop and get it. I'm a right-handed player. My left foot's my pivot foot. I'm going to inside pivot towards the basket and shoot five jump shots around the perimeter. So I catch it, I hop, triple threat, left foot, pivot foot, I step towards the basket, shoot five, second five, I spin it, I land, jump stop, I look over one shoulder, I pivot the, in the other direction right now. So I show one way, I see the defense, I turn the other way. So. down, hips down, hips down, ball down. All right. So we're going to go now and we're going to go eight different shots, two on each side. Our first one now to start is just going to be first one. I just drive it to the basket and come to a jump stop. I shoot two right-handed layups on the right side and then two left-handed layups. So that's our first one now. Jump stop, hop to a position, get yourself in that ready position, explode up to score. Here we go. There you go. Jump stop, outside foot, pivot foot, shot fake. Here we go. Let's fake right to the chin. Quick fake. Quick baby pump. So we're going to go two in a row, outside foot, take the step with the inside foot, pivot around, two jumpers in a row. It's important when you pivot that you get back into the ready position. If your knees aren't bent, you, get, you can't get off the ground on the shot. So stay low, pivot, two jumpers in a row on the right side, then two on the left side, guys. Here we go. When I pivot now, I set up the next move. So I come to the stop, I pivot around, I chin fake, right? I baby pump to my chin, stand the defense up, step through and score. Jumping off the left leg. On the right side, and I go to the other side, and I shoot two left-handed layups, jumping off the right leg. So it's opposite hand and foot, traditional layup on both sides right now. Let's go two each. Steve Nash kind of made this fashionable years ago, where he goes to the basket, instead of jumping off the left leg, one step earlier before the left leg gets on the ground, he jumps off the right leg. So as I'm going to basket now, let's shoot two, where you jump off the outside leg for two on one side and the outside leg. So it's the same leg and hand on both sides. Now. Outside hand, outside foot, two and two.
Let's go two floaters on each side. And you can jump off two legs after the one dribble or one leg, but let's shoot floaters moving towards the basket and make sure let your momentum go forward and don't pull your hand back. Because a lot of times when you shoot the floater, as you go into the basket, the defense will hit your arm as you go forward right now. So don't let that hand, don't shoot it and pull back. Let that hand naturally go. Two on each side. And after we shoot the two, shoot the two on each side right now, let's shoot two Euros on each side. And when we shoot the Euros, we just remember that somebody's making a move towards the basket and the defense gets in the path of the driver. The defense gets in the path of the driver and the driver just steps inside of the defense and scores. So We're not able to have a workout with others because of the pandemic. We're kind of alone a lot. So we want to try to do as many basketball things as we can in one day, even if we're alone. So this one now, I'm going to take the ball, and I'm going to take it, and I'm going to grab it, and I'm going to look to – I'm being double teamed. I'm going to look to pass the ball to the right. I'm going to take my right foot and step around the defense, look to pass the ball towards the left. I stay down. I pivot away. I fake to the outside now to get this defender to go wide, and then I step through, and we'll step through today and use the dribble, okay? Say low, say low. Good. And here comes the double team. So I dribble twice, moving forward. Here comes the double team. I go back two dribbles, and then I switch hands, either between the legs, behind the back, front change, and I go the other way too. Another double team, I pull back, and I go up two, back two, and let's do this for about 30 seconds. Double team coming, pull back. Here comes, pull back. First shot is going to be catch it, spin it, and catch it. Inside foot, dribble, inside foot, pivot foot, dribble back for a shot. Second one right now, okay, second shot is going to be a high, a high bounce foul line jump shot. I throw it ahead, I catch it, okay, and I shoot a jumper. My third shot is a left-handed lay, a weak hand layup. We're gonna play to 25. Three points for the backup shot, two points for the ball. I bounce off the ground and come and get it and shoot a jumper, a kind of foul line area, and one point for the layup with the weak hand. Let's play. Backboard toss. So let's throw it off the backboard hard with the right hand. Let's catch it with the right hand. Get it down into shooting position. So I'm dropping my hips and dropping the ball. Swinging my left hand over. Getting into the shot now. Catch it and pull it. Let's shoot five. Then go with the other hand. Throw it off the backboard lefty. Grab it left-handed now. And pull the ball over to the shooting pocket. High knees, okay, well I'm gonna get it now a little bit further out, and I wanna tap the ball, keep the ball up, bring the knees up to tap the ball four times, and then let's shoot five of these right now. Start on one side, we spin it, get it in triple threat position, shoot a shot towards the foul line area, so you practice your first shot, shoot the ball, make sure it's got nice backspin, go and get it and shoot the ball. Then go to the other side and do the same thing, go in the other direction. Let's go back and forth and shoot a total of five shots right now. Put the ball on top of my right wrist to start, and I flip the ball up, get my hands on the ball quickly, hips down, ball down, get in my shot. Make sure it heels are up, and if you can turn your feet slightly, so if the clock was straight ahead, it's 12 o'clock, Turn your feet just a little bit towards 11 o'clock. That keeps everything tight and in right now. So let's go in a row now, five in a row, flip it up off the right hand and shoot it. And then when it's on the left hip, uh, left uh, wrist, we flip it up and we pull the ball over to the shooting hand just like the other drills. Here we go, five and five. Let's go three in a row of bounce it off the ground, come forward and get it. 
shoot three jumpers in a row, stepping forward now. This is simulating getting a pass in the game, getting the ball in a ready position. So three in a row, jab and shoot, jab and shoot. Short jab, straight at the defensive player right now to back him up. Catch it. Let's fake two passes to the right and shoot, and then two passes to the left. Now, I want you to keep your left foot as your pivot foot. So on my fakes now to the right, I step with the right foot, fake the pass, step back, get a ready position. Going in the other direction, I get it now. I step across my pivot foot with my right foot, just like the double team drill. I look to pass, I swing it back into my shot now. I move on that. When I move, that opens up an opportunity to shoot. So the better my fake is, the more open shots I can get off this. Baby pump and pause. Up and down, get into the shot. If you fake and he doesn't jump, you just shoot. If you fake and he jumps, let him go up. As he's coming back down, go into your shot. Keep all your concentration on your target right now. We extend the jab. Before it was jab and shoot, now we take a bigger step with the foot, and then we get back into the shot. So I take a longer step, like I'm trying to get around the player, because I took a longer step, he retreats more. I pull it quickly back to my shot. So when I do it on the right side, it's my right foot. When I want to go in the other direction, I'm going to dip my shoulder, take that step, swing it back underneath and back into my shot. Okay, so I'm going long step back to the shot, going to the right, and long step and shoulder to the left, and then I swing it back. Out slow, back quick. Out slow, back quick. The baby pump, I dribble to create space, okay? I want to be balanced and I go up in my shot. Because if I got him with the fake and if he's up somewhere now, I get rid of him. I just want to create a little space to shoot in both directions. So we're going to go how many now? Uh, three, Let's go three and three. Baby fake, okay? Baby pump to the chin, three side each way. Inside foot, step back. So let's go four of these, two right and two left. I spin it, I, I bounce it, I get it. I'm going to go back to my right. I use my left foot to push back, dribble back shooting position. When I bounce it and catch it, I go to the other direction with my left-handed dribble, inside foot, push off the right foot, back to shooting position. So let's go two and two. Let's wrap the ball around our body in a figure eight and then go behind the back. And let's do that five times. Wrap the ball around both feet and we take a step back. One, the other foot that stays, then we step forward. So it's two legs, one leg, two legs, the other leg. Let's dribble it around one leg five times, using both hands. Go around as quick as we can each foot, using both hands. Let's get higher dribble, higher dribble and get around. Get it up higher, get the dribble up higher. Let's go north, south, east, west. So if we have a line, you line up next to the line, like the corner of the free throw line is a good place to go. I want to go dribble, I want to go in front of the line, behind the line, across and back. Forward, back, side to side. Okay, let's go to the other hand, on the other side. North, south, east, west. Keep the head up. Legs. Left leg 15 times, then right leg 15 times right now. Let's go. Each one's a game. Head up. Okay, and then the other leg. Back and forth, chin up, back and forth like it's a game situation from one hand to the other so I can go right into my shot. Let's go, let's go 10 hard dribbles righty, then let's go 10 hard dribbles lefty. When I say hard, we want, we want to be down in dribble position, get that ball up as high as your eyes, 10 and 10, 
then change it back and forth 10 right now. So we're gonna go 10 high, 10 high, 10 change back and forth. Really pound it, make mistakes. Make this really working on your hand strength. Too high, hard, too low, quick. Five on one hand and then five on the other. So five times on the one side, then five times on the other side. Here we go. Pound it, low two. We're going to start working on getting shots off this. Okay, so our first one now is going to be two high dribbles, two high dribbles, inside out, jump shot. But we want to today be moving so that we're going through this routine. It can be back up. It could be side to side. But as I go too high, I'm moving. I go inside out, I'm moving. I can go inside out and jump to the left. I can go inside out and jump to the right right now. I want my body moving. High two. Change between the legs to your jump shot. And this definitely lends to the step back. High two, through the legs, create a little space to shoot. Even as you dribble in twice high, try to get that body moving right now. All right, so we're not even stationary, even on the two high dribbles. See if we can get you moving, Gabe. Okay, good, good, good. Body moving, all right, between the legs, between the legs, jump shot. One with each hand now. High two, but be moving. Get those feet moving through the legs, through the legs, jump up. Now, let's go to high dribble, feet moving, just right to a step back. High two, step back. Then the other hand, high two, body moving, step back to your shot. But really stay low, two high dribbles, body moving. High two, behind the back shot. Then high two, behind the back shot. Hard dribbles, one side dribble, and then two high dribbles, body moving, one side dribble. one now the continuous dribble is a good dribble routine so let's start and let's just go about 20 seconds just practicing a continuous dribble so that's going to be inside out front change between the legs behind the back to the other hand then inside out front change between the legs behind the back but what we want you to be able to do is your body is swaying it's moving as you're handling now you're not just doing the dribbling stationary. We've moved away from that. Now that we know how to use the four dribbles, now we want to be moving, so we're always making the defense try to stay with us. Head up, head up. It's three-shot drill. So we're going to start on the right side. We're going to shoot only a total of nine shots. We're going to get on the right side and hold the ball. I'm gonna take a dribble and shoot. I'm gonna take a dribble, then a dribble forward and shoot. And then I'm gonna take it and take a dribble, take a dribble backward and shoot. So I'm gonna shoot. Let's see if the speed of the dribble can be challenging. You really challenge yourself even with speed dribble. You wanna shoot the shots against pick and roll. All right, so we're going to shoot six shots. The first shot now, Gabe brings the ball down, and it's a side pick and roll today. So we're on the right side. I bring the ball down. I bring it down, and I get down here, and I want that guy to have to guard me. So I make him guard me. After I make him guard me now, now I bring it back over the screen, and I get myself a jump up. So the first one is go by the screen, jump shot. The second shot, we'll shoot six of them. So I go by the screen and shoot. The second time when I come off the screen, that big guy stepped out, so I split it and shoot. 
the third one, when I use it, my man hits the screen, he goes behind, I shoot behind it. The fourth one, they switch. And now I got the big guy guarding me. So I back it up, and now I go one-on-one -on -one against him for my shot. The next one is the rescreen. I bring it off the screen. They handle it pretty good. I go back and I use the screen again a second time to get my shot. And then the last one, the last one is going to be I refuse the screen. I bring it down. The defensive guy starts cheating on the screen, and I go towards the baseline, get myself a shot. So let's shoot, let's shoot two at each of these spots on the right side, and then we're going to shoot free throws. That'll get us up right around an hour today. So I'm going to use the first one, which is two dribbles off the screen, second split the screen, third one behind the screen. Let's shoot those three right now. When I go down and use it, the big guy jumps out, and I split it, and I get my shot. Okay? Then the third one, third one I'm guarding the player. As I'm guarding him off the dribble, as he brings me back, I'm stuck on a screen, and then I go behind. So since I go behind, he stays behind the screen and shoots it. So let's go now with the run him into the screen. He goes beside the screen. Now you know he's behind. You know you have your shot. So do it again. Here, do it again. Okay. The big guy switches to it. So now Gabe brings it down. As he starts to come off the screen, switch. I take it. So now he sees he's got the big guy. He backs it up, and he starts working at me. He may drive at me like Kemba Walker would to back me up and shoots the jumper. If the big guy gets too close, he can stop and go and try to go get the basket right now. So now there's an isolation against the big guy. I back it up, and I look to break him down right now. Face him up. I take him to score. He backs off me. I use the screen. Side. My man gets through it. They relax a little bit. The screen it turns to face me in this direction. I use it again to get a shot. So it's screen, rescreen. Okay, good. And now the last one, the last one is I refuse the screen. All right, I go down. I've been using the screen in the game. What does he start to do? He starts to cheat towards the screen so he can get over. I see him doing that, and I just make a move towards the baseline, get my shot. C.J. McCallum, who plays with the Blazers, one of the best players in basketball at making you worry about the screen and going the other way. He does a great job of setting this up so that you're thinking about the screen and he takes you the other way.